You know it. I shouldn't even have to say anything. You know what day it is. Okay, this was a bit of an expensive purchase, and I'm not entirely sure why, but everywhere I looked, it was as expensive as everything else, every other version of it or copy of it. So, took me a bit of time. <laughs> I really like the wrapping that they put on here. Safety first with everything you order, and I dig that. So it took me a little bit of time to procure a copy, but I did, and here it is. Can you see? Hardcover Annotated Legends by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Again. I paid more for this than I wanted to, if I'm being 100% honest with you. But it is definitely worth it when you look and start reading the actual annotations throughout the book. Uh, and actually, this is three books because it's the Legends Trilogy. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. And of course you have <laughs> some older paintings with some of the newest paintings. Great, and it's got them throughout, it looks like. Yes. Love me some Fist and Dantalist. Carryman, you the man. I do like that uh, they have these color plates for the different covers and stuff. All right, so let's look at this. There's a little bit of stain. But other than that, you know, a little bit of crinkling. But that's just normal handling of a book. It looks much better than the Chronicles, Annotated Chronicles I picked up. And uh, to be honest, the Annotated Chronicles, I was able to clean up so that it wasn't an issue at all. I don't have to do any of that for this, which is nice. But I am really excited you can see the three novels contained herein in the cover information. I'm really excited to dive into these again. I've already started the Chronicles again with the annotations and I'm really enjoying the notes. And I do like uh, some of the introduction and stuff that they added to these annotated versions. I mean, look at that. This is the stuff that makes it totally worthwhile to revisit these really fantastic novels that, you know, most of us have read a number of times anyway. And of course, you got the great little illustrations in the middle as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do, my plan here is to reread Chronicles intermixing the Lost Chronicles so that it's one clear narrative from beginning to end of all the six books, and then return to this and read this straight through from these. And what I'll do is between each of the annotated novels and the Lost Chronicles, is I'll give you guys a review, which will really be a re-review because I've already read these years ago, but it'll be returning to them. I haven't read Legends for 20 some odd years, I hadn't read Chronicles for 30 some odd years. So, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think you're that old. <laughs> um, I always like looking at the book without it. I actually like the black better than the Chronicles red or pink or whatever it is. But anyway, um, I think it'll be exciting. What I find with Dragonlance novels, and to be honest, any novel as you return to it, you come with a different life experience, slightly altered perspectives than maybe you had at the time that you first picked them up. And so there's slight meanings you may have missed. There's um, emotional impact 
that is going to strike you differently that the different characters are going through or the different events are evoking in the characters. I always find it interesting because it is just a tad bit different every single time. And there's other authors that I'll return to in the same vein, like I'm a big fan of Clive Barker, and so I'll return to some of his books and pick up different notes off of them or, or some of the classics. I like going back to like, I mean, just off the top, off the top of my head, like Thus Spake Zarathustra, which is a, a rough read, in my opinion, but, you know, it, it's packed full with insight. And so uh, that's what I'm looking forward to in returning to these, the Chronicles, Lost Chronicles and Legends. And the annotations are just going to give me a little bit more insight to what the authors were thinking when they were writing it. And I love it. So I hope you guys do too. Have a fantastic day. And until next time, Slon Javar.